smell this. Oh, oh, come on now. Excuse me. Sorry. Come on, out you go. Well, hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am reviewing the brand new perfume by Ellis Brooklyn called B. This is the packaging. It's very, very cute. This is their 10 mil little travel bottle. I'm gonna put it right here and let that overhead camera get in real close so you can see just how cute this packaging is. Um, this is just the box. Let's go ahead and take it out and take a look at the bottle. So you will see that we have this beautiful orange tempered glass bottle. And I will say I've used quite a bit of this already because I am um, a fan. I'm a fan of this fragrance. So for Ellis Brooklyn, I do have the library discovery set. Um, a few of those I really like, but as far as like all the fragrances out of Ellis Brooklyn, this is by far my favorite. Why don't I go ahead and read you the notes? Okay. Notes profile, um, this is straight from Ellis Brooklyn's website, which I will list in the description below. Um, we have the top dark rum and Tavana. Tavana? Tavana. Um, Tavana is a fougere type of green bitter note. Um, I don't get a lot of bitterness in the opening. I get kind of like a punch of just sweet, dark. I already get the honey in the opening, I have to say, but it's like... It's a little punchy. It's a little punchy right in the opening, and I love it. I love it. Um, the mid, we have honey, bran absolute, and cinnamon. I have to say I don't get a whole lot of cinnamon it, to my nose. I don't smell a whole lot of it, maybe just a little bit, and I feel like it's actually the perfect amount. Um, in the dry down, we have sandalwood, vanilla bean, and cocoa absolute. Um, Mm. I mean, it sounds it sounds amazing. This is obviously a gourmand. I will say that Ellis Brooklyn is a paraben-free, uh, phylates-free, cruelty-free, and vegan fragrance company. Uh, so you gotta love that. Um, also, uh, the packaging and the bottles are biodegradable, um, and I guess green overall. So. Let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this. Um, so I would say as far as like longevity, um, I feel like the, the punchy opening, first of all, is probably my favorite, favorite part of this. I just love it. I'm not sure everyone is gonna love it because it can be a little bit intense. I feel like it also makes it quite unique as far as like um, a gourmand. It's, it's really delicious. It's like, to me, it's like this dripping, dark, sweet, yummy rummy honey it makes me want to like I don't know it makes me want to like eat the bottle and and kiss everyone I see so I feel like it's just it's delightful um I think it's sexy I think again that it is unique I already said that but I'm gonna say it one more time I think it's unique for a gourmand um I feel like so that opening does not last super super long I kind of wish it lasted longer but I mean, it is the top note. So then when we get into the dry down, I feel like um, the main honey and kind of sandalwoody chocolatey notes last for, um, I don't wanna say like a good two to three hours and then it dies down a lot and you get mostly the cocoa, vanilla and sandalwood. Um, I will say that that dry down, even though it kind of gets close to the skin and gets much more light in intensity, it lasts for uh, endless hours. I wore this overnight. The next day I kept getting whiffs of just the dry down notes. Um, basically just the base notes for hours and hours into the morning. So the base notes last a long time, but it does get very, very soft. So performance wise, I kind of do wish that the punching notes lasted longer, but overall it does last a long time. Um, as far as the reach on this, I'd say about an arm and a half's length. Um, and then again, after a few hours, does kind of come in to maybe half an arm's length. So um, I feel like that's okay. I feel like that's moderate, moderate to good performance there. Um, it's definitely not a beast uh, performer, you know. Um, but again, I feel like just the unique, delicious fragrance of this kind of makes up for it in my mind. <laughs> um, the sillage is amazing. It's just, it's chocolatey and it's got that honey. Um, and this is vegan honey. 
So I actually recently learned that you can make vegan honey out of uh, dandelions. It's just an interesting side fact I just found out recently. Who knew? Um, so let's see. What else can I tell you about this delightful fragrance? Um, I kind of feel like for the price. So this is 10 mils. It's a travel size bottle. And this is $30. Mm, I kind of feel like... I don't know. I Would I buy the big bottle of this? I feel like I would just because I feel like it's such a delicious scent. The large bottles of only 50 mils for I think $105. So I feel like 50 mils, it, that's 1.7 ounces. I kind of feel like it's a little bit pricey. A little bit pricey, but it is um, a little bit of a smaller niche company. So um, I feel like overall it's probably worth it. I just kind of, I wish, I wish it was just a little bit, um, a little bit easier on the wallet as far as like 50 mils and 10 mils. Like I'd be happy, I'd be more than happy to spend $105 on a 100 mil bottle. I feel like that's very, very fair. But um, yeah, 50 mils, I feel like it's a little bit on the pricey side for most people. That being said, I do love the fragrance. I love, I love the fragrance. I'm just so impressed with this. I feel like too, my, <laughs> I will say, I feel like my expectations were just a little bit lower, um, just a little bit, because I haven't been blown away by Ellis Brooklyn fragrances in the past. I do like some of them. Um, I like, I find them all, I like them all, but I do like some of them enough to um, purchase a larger bottle, but um, probably not the 50 mil bottle of Raven and Myth. I think I already mentioned I like those ones the most out of the whole Discovery Library set. But this, I feel like my expectations being like, oh, it's pretty good. You know, it's a pretty good company. Um, I like what they're doing. Um, you know, their fragrances are pretty good. Um, this to me is like, oh, baby, it's delicious. I love it. I really am excited about this. Um, so hopefully I covered everything about this fragrance. Um, yeah, the the big bottle, uh, if you want to go to the website and take a look at it, it is a very cute bottle as well. More of this um, frosted orange glass in a square bottle. The lid even is biodegradable from what I understand. It's like all very, very um, ethically sourced with everything. So I feel like they've covered all their bases with that. Um, but yeah, overall, like super impressed with the smell of this. Delicious. If you like gourmands, um, you got to give this a try. If you like gourmands, you got to get a sample of this and get your nose on it uh, because it is a unique, again, sticky, dark, delicious gourmand. I feel like it's feminine leaning. Uh, you know, anybody could really wear it though if they wanted to. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.